Since the time of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Feeling that somewhat squeezy, my brain. Oh, there's some thoughts in here that, that aren't mine. Oh, I see her, Jesse. Oh, no, you must stop her before. Wait, wait, I see side. Dickinson, she's in Dickinson. I need to get to Dickinson. Tough old bastard, he's turning it around on her. It's gonna be a hard sell to Harrow. Gotta try. You keep an eye on him. And keep your hands off that switch. Assistant Secretary Harrow, sir. Agent Rentier. And Dr. Blackwell brought me up to speed on your father. Sir, we... I know. It couldn't have been easy. His shadow will loom large over us all. Please accept my condolences on behalf of a grieving nation. And try not to wallow in grief. It only leads to blunder. And this country desperately needs success. Aside from the news of your father's tragic demise, I've also briefed the Assistant Secretary on the successful destruction of Felicity's leech factory in McCallum Sawmill. That and a penny will buy me a cup of warm piss, Doctor. No one is safe while that crazy she-beast and her army of freaks are on the loose. And do you have any idea where she is? No. Actually, I do, sir. We have intel that she's currently in Dickinson. What intel? Can't say, but it's 100% solid. Great. You can head for Dickinson after you get back from Kingston. Kingston? There's a case containing some very sensitive information there that I need picked up. But sir, the Dickinson lead. There's at least three interstate railroads there. It might be a part of Felicity's transport. Very well. You, you there. What's your name? Olney? Virgil? Olney? Do you know your way to Kingston, Olney, Virgil? I... With all due respect, Mr. Assistant Secretary, Virgil is our top engineer. I... He is not fit for field action. I don't give a watery shit about his curriculum fucking vitae, Doctor. I'm funding this circus of yours, and I want those papers back now. Mm. I'll get them for you. What do I need to know? We recently got our hands on a partial list of companies tied to the Andalusia Financial Services Group, like McCallum's Mill and the Kingston Oil Fields. Debano. Debano, indeed. He and his maniacal brat are up to their assholes in illegal acquisitions, and the government intends to seize their not insubstantial portfolio. Sounds like you need a lawyer, not a vampire hunter. Tried that already. I even sent in the blasted National Guard to secure the papers. But the place was guarded. 
That's where you come in. So what exactly am I looking for? Based on the final telegram from my forensic accountant, Andalusia's portfolio of holdings is stashed in a briefcase, presumably still at the Kingston Oil Fields Bureau on the far side of the lake. I still don't get why it's more urgent than looking for Felicity and Dickinson. Wars cost money, Rentier. And unless you've forgotten the incident at your former headquarters, we are at war. This could very well turn the tides in our favor. The office, where is it? I need the man in charge. There's no way to get there from here. Now, unless you use the zip line from the top of that tower, well, that'd be crazy. Please, you gotta help my buddies. Once you get on the other side, just follow the pipes. It's a kind of maze, but just keep going.
It's about time someone sent in the cavalry. I've been hiding here for a week. This ain't a rescue mission, so watch your mouth. I'm here to pick up some documents for Assistant Secretary Harrow. Documents? I don't know anything about any documents. Oh, uh, these documents? You must be the accountant. Uh, Jonathan Q. Biddle, at your service. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Harrow promised me immediate backup, as long as I kept this safe. Harrow's written you off, Biddle. Sent me for the case, not you. All I know is that DC wants that portfolio seized. DC? What an asshole. Harrow isn't trying to leverage this property for the government, you ate. He wants it for himself. He wrote me into this scheme for a cut of the profits, and now he's hung me out to dry. That asshole. How big a cut? Ten percent. Hope it was worth all those soldiers' lives, you greedy little pissworm. I'll take that. Whoa, 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 wait! What about me? How'll I get home? Walk. Turning the tides, my ass! More like lying in your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you? Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. You sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the president gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary. These accusations sound serious, and... First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now. As in Secretary of War, as in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is gonna give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk... <laughs> Go ahead, Reggie, and do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass into Newgate and flens your father's legacy to the bone. The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. <laughs>